Hi, my name is Kirsten Ramos, and I'm one of the technicians here at Advanced Veterinary Internal Medicine. And this here is Bruce, and today we're going to be demonstrating for you how to nebulize your pet. Here is the actual nebulizer unit. Uh, I placed it on some towels because it is quite loud when it's uh, on, it vibrates quite a bit, so that kind of helps uh, with the noise, which can sometimes be uh, one of the difficult things about nebulizing your pet is just the sound and it makes them nervous. So put it on some towels. We have this line that comes with it, which you plug into the nebulizer unit here. Some units may be different, so it might have a different, the port located on the side, um, but it's gonna look like this. Perfect for the hose to fit onto. So put that on there, and then the hose will connect uh, to this nebulizer cup, which will look something like this. And at the bottom, it it's usually has some little legs to put the cup down, and it'll have a fitting there for the hose to go on to. And then the top uh, will screw on and has this adapter, which we use. Oh. So uh, the nebulizer cap that fits on the cup, uh, there's another fitting here that we use. Um, so this, this is a nebulizer for humans. It, has two ends that are open. Uh, we close the larger end. Uh, we can You can use duct tape, um, any kind of tape. Basically, uh, we want to direct all of the steam towards the, uh, towards the animal, so we close off one end. We also recommend using uh, a mask. Uh, it's one of the best ways to direct all of the um, all of the medicine and the nebulizing vapor towards the animal. Um, so when you get a, a mask from us, it will fit on to the end of the nebulizer like so. Uh, you can take off this diaphragm here, but if your, your pet is very, very good, uh, I definitely recommend keeping this on as well, because that will ensure that none of the vapor is wasted and it's all going directly to your pet. Now I'll show you how to fill the cup uh, where we'll put either saline and possibly medicine as well, depending on your patient's uh, or your pet's treatment needs. Uh, most of the nebulizers have a little place where you can kind of hook the cup so you don't have to actually hold it, which is very helpful. Uh, anytime you are nebulizing, you'll always be using sodium chloride in the cup. Uh, this is what they look like. They usually come in the box from the pharmacy like this, and they come in these little individual um, doses that are three milliliters in volume. So you'll take one of these, you screw off the top, and you'll take one of these and put it into the cup. It's also possible that your patient or your pet might be getting some other medicine. The other two medicines we'll use in the cup, uh, one is budesonide, which is a steroid that acts locally in the lungs and helps uh, with any inflammations in the airway. Uh, when we're giving this, we normally do it in increments of either um, a quarter of a mil or a half of a mil. So you'll squeeze the dropper and release it in the liquid. Um, it usually fills a little bit above half a mil. So just squeeze out till the amount that you desire. I'm gonna do a quarter for Bruce because he doesn't have that disease. And the doctor, of course, will give you uh, directions on how much to use. So that was the budesonide, the steroid, and then we've also got albuterol here. Uh, you may recognize albuterol, uh, people get it uh, for inhalers with asthma. This is a bronchodilator, so it's going to help open up the airways. This is the same thing, it comes in half to a quarter of a milliliter. So I'm going to do a quarter again. And you put that in there like so. And now we can go ahead and attach the cap to the nebulizing cup. And we'll go ahead and get started. So we have our medicine in the nebulizing cup. 
we have the hose attached to the nebulizer, we have our mask, and we're ready to start nebulizing. I recommend doing this in a bathroom because it's a smaller area usually. Make sure you don't have the ceiling fan on. Um, that way, any of the vapors that escape from the nebulizer are going to be still in the air around, and so that way it kind of ensures that your pet gets as much of the vapor and the medicine as possible. You might get a little bit too, but you'll breathe easy with them. Right, so when you're nebulizing, you want to place the mask on the patient's face. The nebulizing process takes uh, usually about five to ten minutes. You want to try to do it as long as your pet will tolerate it. If they're struggling, you know, especially with this respiratory issues, we don't want to force anything. You can give them a break if, if they need a little five or ten minute break, give them a break or if you need to just stop the treatment early, that's fine. Uh, the next time you'll go ahead and use a whole new dose of all of the medications and uh, saline, so make sure you empty the cup after you stop. But it takes about five to 10 minutes, uh, and you'll see, you'll see the cup, uh, the liquid in the cup diminish. So we'll put the mask on the patient's face. If there's one of these uh, diaphragms on there, you're just going to put it over their mouth, like so. I'm going to take that off because Bruce doesn't like it. <laughs> so you hold the nebulizer on your patient's face, try to keep it upright, and then turn it on. What's nice about nebulizing is you can see the vapors escaping. What a good kid you are. Look at that. Yeah. You can give them a little break if they need. It'll take them a few times to get used to it. So if the first couple of times you don't make it all the way through the entire dose, that's okay. So this is what the nebulizing cup looks like when it's in use. You can see it bubbling and it looks a little bit frothy. Once it gets the cup gets low, it'll be a little less frothy, there'll be a there'll be less going on in there, and the liquid line will be very low. You can also see the mask, what it looks like, and you can actually see the vapor coming out. Once it gets low, there'll be a lot less vapor. It'll almost be, it'll almost sputter a little bit to an end. So we're all done nebulizing. Bruce is breathing easy, it looks like. Uh, when you're done, you can go ahead and disconnect everything. You can use uh, tepid, soapy water to clean the components. Uh, I would say avoid cleaning the hose uh, if you can, because it's kind of hard to get it dried out once you've cleaned it. Make sure you just rinse them very well and dry them out. And that's it.